Good morning, happy Labor Day. Aaron here, Simon Says Farms, and today I'm drinking hazelnut toffee. It's a good one. I think it was our third best seller from the launch day. Ah, what am I going to talk about today? It's, I, think, I think I might have said it already. It's Labor Day. I was watching a YouTube video of this big, huge, couple million follower YouTuber. They were breaking down the intro of the video, and I just don't want to do that. He was talking about how, like, in the first eight seconds of the video, there were already, like, eight different camera angles. It's like every second something happened. It was so fast. That's just not our audience. We're not that fast. If I was to run fast, I'd hurt myself. But speaking of fast, coffee went out fast on uh, launch day. We sold it. We're actually meeting with a consultant. Liz and I are talking to a business consultant again on Wednesday, because we do have a problem. Without getting into it too much, the launch is, is what keeps us alive. We have a launch, we get to buy hay. We get to do the things we need to do. If no launches, I mean, the day after the launch was, I mean, yesterday was like, I think a $50 day, sales day. At $50 per day times 365 days a year, we can't keep this business alive. So, there's a minimum per day number that's in my head that literally just sustains the business and not even the like, but the other things like our car loans and, you know, things like that. So, my point is, we're meeting with this consultant because we got to start figuring out how to get new people to find our simple things, like simple suds. You know, you want to upgrade your soap to goat milk soap. I'm not going to say it works, but I've heard there's rumors out there. You guys can put it in the comments below that it does help eczema. Let's get the eczema crowd on here. Things like that. So try to figure out ways to run ads to get basic basic non-villager people to buy our stuff. Do we spend more time in Google, spend Google money? Do we run ads on Facebook and YouTube? You guys used to see our ads. We've actually slowed a lot of them down because we just, we just did. We needed that, we needed that money somewhere else. So who knows? But yeah, we're talking with them, figuring out what way to go. Ladies, I'm gonna go dump your grain in your trough. You're gonna go run, they're not running to their trough every time I open it in the morning yet. So they still haven't figured it out. But the other day, so we, the launch, here's, here's a little quick video of during the height of the launch where you guys get all excited. A couple hundred of you. We don't do a couple hundred orders. There's a few, but not that many. What are you ladies doing? You guys are all sleepy. I'm going to throw them some hay. But then later in the day, after we got a couple of you guys' orders out, it's fun team building. We have a good time. We read some of the names. We say, oh, we know this person. You know, oh, this person's been here. You know, we do. We, sometimes we're going so fast, though. We don't see all the names. Okay, girls. This... Ah. I think maybe my videos need to be faster paced to wake all of us up. I heard some of you can do my barn chores for me. I saw that in the comments. They were like, I've watched enough. I could do it. Yeah, I, that's kind of funny, actually. I like it. It's cute. There you go. Okay. These goats are like, why are we awake this early? It's about 6.30 on Labor Day morning. We've just got plans for the day. I'm going to edit this part out. Okay, see? Quick edit. Not a one-take wonder. So, I'm going to get to Stella in a minute. We'll get... Yeah, girl. We're getting there. She Look at her. The fact that she's awake. Fat Amy is out from under the feeder. She's checking out the hay. She's like, where's my grain? I heard I get grain every morning now. And throw a little more hay. Stella got a chance. I'll just say it. Stella got a chance to go on the boat. It was her first time ever. And 
she did pretty good. Let's run that clip here, and then we'll get back to the grain thing in a minute. Stella, do you have any idea what mom signed you up for today? Wait, no, I don't. Stella. <laughs> Did oh you hear God, the kitty? Tea. We're almost there. Tell her. We're not going to see kitties. Tell you we're almost there. Yes, no, we're not. We're not seeing cats. Yes, we are. Stella, you gotta leave it on. Yes, you do. Stelly. Stelly, welcome aboard. I don't. I can't carry. Okay, come on. Good girl. Oh, I don't trust that. I do. I do. <clears throat> oh, Quinn, you know how to do that? Double, two hands. Oh, wider, wider. With your hands, buddy. Nice and wide. There you go. Stella, are you getting seasick? No. We haven't even started moving. Uh, Quinn wasn't talking to you, Stella, I was. And mom should be heading back soon. Actually, I see her now, look at her, she's so beautiful. Everybody tell her she's beautiful when she shows up because she doesn't like her outfit. I did. She does? She told me she didn't. But she always picks on me when I tell her she looks good. She says, that's what you think. Yeah, that's what happens. She doesn't sound like that though. Ready? Here she comes, Stella, she's on her way. She's coming. Quinn, what did you say about mom's outfit? Quinn, what did you say? Help me out, Quinn. All right, Olivia, what'd you say about mom's outfit? Thanks, thank you, Quinn. Stella, you good? Is she comfortable or scared? No, she's comfortable. She's rocking. Yeah. We're about, to, she's we're about to start moving. All right, we'll be careful because I don't know how she's going to respond when we start going. Yeah. And if you freak out, we can probably go down slow. But we got that big boat coming right at us. Oh my God. So we're going to let him go over there because we're pretty far off to the left. We're gonna let him go through the channel first, actually. Cause see, we gotta get to the other side of that green buoy. So we're gonna let him go through the channel and then we'll work our way back into the channel after his wake dies down. Well, his wake's not gonna die down very much because the no wake's just right there. Right, the no wake's right behind us. So I'm moving out of the way. I got everybody. Yeah, it's gonna be busy. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
fuel probably because we just shook the whole boat up. You know what I mean? It's there. Yeah, we just shook her around. I mean, look at that guy bouncing. Does that huge boat? Yeah, he shook up the whole river. Yeah, leave her down there. She might want to stay on the floor. But she got a little wet. She did. She's like, what is this? It's shaking and we got wet. Bark at people, Stella. Wow, that's a lot of extra bacon. I know. Wow. She didn't actually uh, bark at them. She didn't bark yet? No, she's, she's talking. Oh, 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 oh. That's what she did. What? She bought gummies? Are, who's winning? I mean, no, I no, 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 no. Oh, oh Libby, look at that. We can see all your cards. We can see all of them yeah. right there. Yeah. And Stella yeah. seems to be liking it. Dad. Yes. Um, Libby had a like switch call. Oh. Like a switch. The whole pile? I had nine cards in the upper Oh my goodness. That's because I did two when I had the prescription. Ooh, so windy. Give it a try. What? Good job. What was What was Juliet's surname and Romeo and Romeo and Juliet? So Juliet's last name? No idea. Monticello. No clue. I don't think I read that book. Yep. What is it, Olivia? Yep. Nope. Didn't know that. Oh, look, our baby, our baby cousin, the little guy. Which? So cute. Primarily used to tear apart food. Canines. Like in back of canines. Your no, it's the canines, right? That's what makes us I would say inside canines. It's the canines, yeah. Oh! Okay. Yeah, right, Della? You what have canines? Nevis. Oh, what yeah, canines. Nevis. to reach her little bucket because she had water on a boat. She's thirsty. Which she tried to drink. Oh, she did drink. Mm -hmm. She did. Mm -hmm. Now she's stealing my water bottle. Alright, um, do I need to 
Yeah, yeah, hang on. Well, I got somebody behind me. Okay, never mind. Don't do it right now. They're all, they're, they all hear me shaking it. But they haven't learned that that sound means, oh my gosh, this grass is so wet. It's so tall. Nope, nobody has come around the corner. I don't need to give House Pie one green. Look at them, they're all like, where's ours? Because they are fat. Guys, it's not, okay, here, take a, take a tiny bit. Good, good, come here, just a little, just a little. Don't tell, don't tell mom. Okay, never mind. Some for you, some for you. Good, good, everybody get a little. Good. It's like a wacky Wednesday on a Monday. Okay, good job, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, how's the bike too? Come around. Come on. Whoa, whoa. I almost fell off that hole. Come on. They don't understand. They're still not getting it. Nobody. I'm going to leave it there. I can't sit and wait every day. That's one thing Liz and I talked about. Like, for giving House of Pie 2 grain, how are we gonna do it where you don't get trampled? So we decided it has to be done out here, right? Because think about it, you got, for you goat people, uh, you know, you're thinking about goats. You want human side and goat side. Well, this is all human side. I could feed them grain human side. You don't wanna walk the grain through the goats. You'll get attacked, you just saw that. So, you don't. We can't walk the grain through there, even while House Pie 1 is in, and go through that door. They'll attack you at that door, and then they'll all come running out. And you, the human, will lose. All right, guys, I'm going to start up this fan for you. I know it's cold right now out here. But we're hitting, like, almost 90 today. Oh, somebody found it. Oh, they all found it. Look at them. Charlotte, come on over here. Mom wants to go to a third trough, so I gotta get a third one. Maybe I'll put it on the wish list. She wants to go to a third. There's too many goats for two troughs, she said. Same amount of food, we'll just spread it out. See how she's not making it in? Yeah, I'll say three goats per trough. Yeah, so we're gonna get a third one and put it down there. And maybe during goat snuggle days or something. We'll like save this for like some villagers early in the morning, the 10 a.m. goat snuggle class. In the spring, we'll be the ones feeding. I don't know, I'm just thinking. Yeah, we need a third trough. Third trough, coming your way. Vixen's not getting any. She don't need it though, she's fine. So yeah, we need to figure out a way to sell more coffee when we're not doing a launch. Things that people use every day. Coffee, soap, maybe some lip balms. Lotion's a tough one because, oh, did she just stick her head through the fence? No, not at all. They're just pushing each other around now. This is where they get a little feisty, but that's good for the old ladies to be feisty sometimes, you know? Yeah, everyday sales, not launch day sales. Speaking of everyday sales, this is totally a bad seg segue. I am going to start programming the auction that we've been talking about forever. We're aiming for first or second week of October, probably even first. It's going to be on a Saturday. It's going to be during a Q&A. And it's all going to be computerized and programmed so nobody can, like, cheat. And the winner, uh, it's all through the system. Um... Yeah, it's all through the computer and every item will be like, this item will end at the auction, will, like the Q&A will start at like 6 p.m. Uh, the first auction item will go up for sale at like 6.15 is when it ends. But the previous week or two before that is when the items go live and you can actually start bidding. So we're basically all jumping on the live to watch the auction end. So even if you're not bidding or not a part of buying anything, it'll be super entertaining because I'll have it on another screen 
to watch. Like, okay, first up, this one, this item here is ending in the next five minutes. So then we'll just have a conversation about something else and then just watch it end. And then five minutes later, a new item will come up for ending and then a new item. So every five minutes, there'll be a different item closing. So a couple, we got a couple paintings, those peanut butter paintings that the dogs did. I think Liz is gonna try to get Mila to do one. Olivia even added some art. Tyler has this welded tractor, one of one. He is, oh, oh my gosh. He is going to make more welded tractors, but they're not gonna be, they're just gonna be solid green, no yellow. So the one of one will have the yellow. All the other ones will just be solid green. We have a couple other things going in the auction. Yep. Um, I don't remember what else. I think this hat is going in the auction. It's going to be signed live on that q and I'll take a picture of it, but then it'll say Aaron signed hat, and then I'll just switch to a new one. So this one's a good year and a half old. Somebody can have it. Put it in their little their little space be like i remember the years where i wasted all that time watching goats and aaron blabber oh my god look at these goats here they see me and they're like can you bring us more grain we didn't have enough okay that's it happy labor day i'm not going to be working today but i'm going to be thinking about work actually i'm working right now but it doesn't feel like work i'm making a video i'm going to go edit this video and then we're going to move on from there all right, see you guys later. Bye. I think I was done, right? Did I talk about the auction? Yeah, I did. I talked about it. If there's anything else you want in the auction, put it in the comments below. We could use some ideas. It's a lot of art, a lot of pictures, more, more of those little Polaroids. They're going to start at like five bucks. Some are good, some are bad. But those are definitely one of ones. You can't reproduce that. All right, that's it. That's all I can think of. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.